Adam Saxon with Guy and a Cuban. In this Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to look at a clip from one of our live streams where we talked about spiking of CPU on a premium capacity and how do you go about thinking about it? Any tips on maintaining the premium capacity CPU hikes, spikes, I'm assuming you mean? Uh, total reports approximately 3,000. Wow. Um, so if you're seeing that Power BI Premium is spiking on CPU, then that it's a potential signal that you might be overloaded. And I say potential and might, because uh, I don't know. Uh, this is where I would start looking at optimizing and look for other signals that you're overloaded as well. Um, you may need to offload to another capacity. You may need to scale up. Uh, 3,000 reports is a lot. Uh, how many data sets were the size of the data sets? Um, are you doing direct query? How many concurrent users do you have? So those, if you're hitting that, it's starting to give you signals that you may be overloaded. Um, yeah, be, but if it's just a spike, if it's just a spike, right? That's the thing. So how long I is the spike to, for? Yeah, exactly. So I go back yeah. to old school where, and I'm, you know, I'm dating myself, but I used to manage physical hardware. And one of the decisions we had to make was, hey, we're going to purchase some hardware and we're going to have um, this amount of resources on it. And my DBAs, I managed a group of DBAs and they would get excited or nervous when the CPU spiked. But I'm like, that's why we bought that level of hardware because we, we if I buy a piece of hardware and it's only running at about 30%, I've wasted my money because I really didn't need that right. amount of hardware. I need to be running at about 80%. And if it's just a spike, who cares if it's just a spike? Maybe, you know, there's a heavy query running on direct query or you're doing a live connect to analysis services or you got a bunch of refreshes running, you know, a spike, I don't worry about spikes. But if it's a, a long duration of that spike, right? If it's at 100% for a very long time, now we got concern, so. My, my other uh, thing on that too is if, you, if all you're doing is if you're looking at the premium capacity metrics app and you see a spike every once in a while, are your users reporting a problem? Because if they're not, yeah. then who cares, Ooh, yes. right? Like yes. if, they're say, yes. if they're telling well, you like, hey, this stuff is slow, like intermittently, then okay, maybe you've got a problem there. But if all you're doing is, yeah. hey, I noticed yeah. the spike, okay there was a lot of stuff that happened at once but it handled it right yeah so so it may not be a problem all right i want to hand this off to you if you're using premium like what are your thoughts on that what are some techniques that you use to manage and make sure that your capacity is running smoothly go ahead and let us know down in the comments below if you like this video be sure to hit that big thumbs up button smash it if you so desire if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button and as always from both patrick and myself thank you so much for watching Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.